Welcome. So this uh, talk is about how I'll be training you, uh, some ideas that I'll be using to help train you based on the kinds of uh, systems that I've learned. So I've learned quite a few martial arts styles or systems over the years. Um, I'll be teaching you from the uh, internal school and also the external school. So the internal school of martial arts in China, they're very famous for uh, once they get a certain skill level, it's very difficult for people to beat them. Okay. And there's a huge link with meditation in internal training. Um, internal training looks a lot like Tai Chi and a lot of what I do is based off Tai Chi training. But there are other systems that are not very well know, known of, that, but they look similar to Tai Chi. People would think there was Tai Chi that you're doing. Uh, this, the external system is... Um, uh, external training generally has a lot of huffing and puffing about it. So it's more like, uh, it might look like a karate or taekwondo or, um, or some kind of faster type of kung fu, which essentially that's what it is. Um, but I'll be using the, the external training to help uh, increase your fitness faster, um, help increase speed. Uh, we use it for footwork. Essentially any drills where you're moving quite fast will be coming from the external school. Um, if you're... Training with me for aesthetics as a predominant thing, so you want to get fitter, um, shape up or tone up, uh, get some more muscle, you know, reduce fat. Um, I'll be using predominantly more training from the external system. So we're doing lots of you know, calisthenics, um, uh, training from those external systems like punching, different methods of punching, kicking, all sorts of things like that. If you have an injury, I'll be borrowing big time from the internal systems because that's their first level of training is, is health training first. Okay, so they use health training as a, as a road to go into the meditation or into the self-defense. And really the health training is part of three things, which is uh, of the internal systems, uh, the health, the self-defense and meditation is actually what it is. It's not like you can take one part out and it's, it's really not what it is um, if you take that thing out. So the meditation, self-defense and the health are all part of the internal training. So if you're injured, um, and if you get sick, so a flu or a cold during your training, this is the tools that I'll be giving you so you can keep training and uh, overcome the sickness faster, overcome the illness faster, uh, the injury faster. So this will be a very, very useful skill set. It's extremely useful for postural dysfunctions as well. So if you're sitting at a desk all day and poor posture, or just this tension in the same spot in your body all the time, is largely become, coming from habitual postures or a way of moving that never really releases that that spot of the body. So the internal training is fantastic at doing that. Plus it'll also deepen your power and the amount of energy you have in your body. So that's that's what I'll be working with. Okay, so internal, external schools. If it's a bit more um, aesthetic sort of things that you want from the training of goals, then we'll go more this external route with some internal as well, because it's extremely useful. Um, and however, if you are uh, interested, you just want to do internal training, we can also focus on that too. So it'll be about 80% of the training will be really slow Tai Chi type training, like kind of like meditation. Although there probably won't be any sitting unless you're really interested in that part. It's mainly moving and standing meditation. Um, uh, we can go that route. So 80% of that and 20% will be the fast training because you need that to make your body develop as well. Okay. Um, good luck with the training.